defensively to start this season. Five on the timer. Jasper fading away, blocked by Baycott. Inside, Baycott slams it down. Armando Baycott. The high low any better right here. The freshman sharp with the pass. He just makes you feel like you're part of it. I mean, you're part of his family. I mean, it's all of that family. Y'all, you got to know that it's family. Isn't it? We've seen San Francisco upset Virginia. There's Playtag getting out. The rebound and the putback by Baycott. Now, that's the area where North Carolina can win. One of their best performances in over a decade is Brooks Carousing. And an open look for R.J. Davis. Count it. 18 to 15 to one at the rack. Approaching four to play in our first half. UNLV bolted out to a double-digit lead. Tar Heels trying to bounce back. And well, Roy, a.k.a. Wah, let me tell you your first mistake. <laughs> Going on a Carolina message board and a big target on the interior. And right now, when you're... Carolina back to work. Tar Heels ranked 14th. They moved up two spots in the AP poll that came out earlier today. Here's a putback, Walker Kessler. And so I've been asking a lot of these coaches what it is they've been doing with their spare time that they're used to being on the road. Who well, both of us ended up with 21 wins that year, and needless to say, it worked out for us, the Spurs at the time, because we drafted number 21. That's a real player. Sharp touch pass, high low, oh, got the no. stuff for Baycott. Garrison Brooks to the corner, nice closeout by Spencer Jones, denying the three from Playtech. The fact that Stanford's right there. Leaky black for North Carolina, cling by five now. Stanford trying to go to the championship game as Garrison Brooks goes window wow, for beautiful. two. In position, under five minutes. Can they sustain? Post Garrison. Pass. Brooks for two. The Butler head coach as Carolina has it with 105 to go. That's what I thought I didn't want to guess though. Oh my gosh. Because of their defense, don't you think? No, because North Carolina hasn't been scoring themselves. Maybe because of the defense. Brooks for two and a foul. It's a oh, nice strategy by Shaka Smart. You know, let's shut down the other guys and let's see. Oh, beautiful pass over the top. And he, he's just a freshman. He's going to have a huge career. Oteron Sharp just backed him in and got two and a foul. You're going to get on your bike and go all the way to California? I'm going to bring my bike there. Now that's an excellent high low. Brooks runs right down the pipe. No one picks him up. Garrison Brooks like called him out. I don't know, maybe four minutes ago. Frederick is claiming he got hit. Larry Scarato said no whistle. And Caleb Love on the attack scores for North Carolina. Now, when you say really good pin, what do you mean? Well, you, you got the guy on his backside. You pinned him then. He's good up. Yeah. Caleb Love, a poster. This is the energy. Brooks turns it quickly. They get a weak side lead in. Baycott a second chance for another stop. Black used the screen from Brooks, who got it back. And now Garrison Brooks going to work on Wieskamp. 4-2 and a foul. Oh, that was pretty. Brooks away. Kessler stood straight up. Love. 4-3. It's a one-point lead. All started with the length of Kessler. Bobby Luka Garza. Yeah, I have four. Garrison Brooks with three for North Carolina. Playtech ramming in for two. Without a, a point for North Carolina, as Playtech will end that as he's got the tough ones. You don't want them. Davis inside, and there is a lead for the Tar Heels with two seconds to go. And where will the offense come from for North Carolina if it's not Baycott? Love, his pull-up jumper, got it. And the foul. Brooks and Sharp were both there. Here's Brooks. Nice pass. Logan with Sharp for the easy dunk. With that dribble and block, again, he's got long arms and a five-inch height advantage, but he couldn't get close enough. The alley-oop to Sharp. Nice feed by Caleb Love. Play tech. Carolina looking for its first three. Still nothing there, but there's Garrison Brooks.
thanks to the clear out by Dayron Sharp. Kaiser telegraphed that pass. Good hands by Plaitzek. Here come the Tar Heels. Plaitzek for three again. Back to back threes for Andrew Plaitzek. If you have to make Plaitzek dribble that ball out there. Again, good hands as Love has it to Playtech, and this is even easier. Little slow screen, just a great job they do. Saw a little lead on the cover. Brooks and one. Begging for the basketball. And just that little drop step, solid. And Saar not doing his homework early. Look at that talented, nice little dribble drive here. All the way to the rim. Defense having to shoot, now five to shoot. Love looking for help. Love drives on Boston through the zone. And one off the window, Caleb Love. So now Boston attacking. Top and oh, back great by play. Bangkok. What a block. Woo. Time, huh? The heavy well, heels. You better come strong. Well, Odie's backing it out, running the offense. So give it to Sharp. And one. Jinko sniffing to help others. That slice cut. Look at this lock on the back screen. Pretty execution. Timely. Why though, right? All of a sudden, look at this little back screen. Set. Just no communication. You almost have to switch that one. Nice little lob. Perfect execution. Jammer will let you. And the Cats fight back in the last 3.52. The Heels bring in the fight anyway with Baycott. Black attacking one. Step back. Look at this rebound. And the we saw earlier, Murph is playing screen down, screen to screener. Door to shoot, play tech. Oh, Look at this inside. Down. Another offensive rebound and second chance bucket. Too many answers, but if you can shoot it soft enough, these kind of things happen. North Carolina. I mean, a talented young man. He got a vote for preseason freshman of the year in a conference. Big believer in his talent. Scoop and score at the other end. Quite a start for Kevin Keats' team. A couple so misses in their last possession. They're still just below 60%. And what a shot by Davis. He's got nine. Inside, Baycock the dunk. The city on lock. <laughs> Out of the timeout. The drive and the hoop for Caleb Love. To the letter by everyone involved. I'm so happy to be here alongside the Georgia Tech legend, Brian Oliver. That's a three-pointer, R.J. Davis. Love. Leaky. Black. Off balance. Brooks. Off the backboard and in for three. As we saw Kansas at Fog Allen Fieldhouse home against Texas today lose by 25. We've seen Duke lose twice at home at Cameron as Baycott. Dean. Five to shoot. Goodwin's pass taken away. Here come the Tar Heels, and there goes. He said it doesn't have to be fair, and Roy Williams said he didn't feel like that either team had an advantage or disadvantage of playing this game. Sharp, the dunk. He's got 25. Now 10 seconds to shoot. Final 15 seconds of regulation. Leaky Black for the lead. He banks it home. Love passed up the shot. Playtech will take the three. And Roy Williams has actually gone smaller right now. Only one of his true bigs in the game right now. Almost always he's got two of them in there. Walton doing what Walton does. Urban Walton has just checked back into the game now for North Carolina. Give him that shooter. They want that shooter on the floor. And they get a huge bucket. The wow. force from Timberlake up top. I think it was Walton who got a piece of it. So back-to-back -back possessions with tough shots taken by Miami. And Leaky Black makes another three. That's what Roy Williams is going to let him play. Watch play the deck. shot. Oh, raise it to go. Ray three seconds go. left for Miami. <laughs> Stabilitating for a defense. Got to get right back down in position. Try and guard for another 20 seconds. And Davis finds home the triple. Nice bounce pass by Walton. Sharp threw a double team scores. That's 265 on the 6'11 frame, Jordan. 
Long three for Black. No, they go, Wes. No, that is not the shot opportunity. And back to the basket goes Armando Baker. Now Carolina. And a steal. Open floor for Davis. Brooks, bounce pass. Black left it. Baycott the basket. Shot clock at three. Baycott put it up and scores. Nice touch pass into the corner from Brooks to Walton. And suddenly it's a three-point game. Over a year, December of 2019, I believe, the last time that he played in a game. And that was him feeding Brooks, who gets the bucket. Just explode up. But he's really expanded his game this year. That foul, Jay the fourth on Leaky Black. How about that play by Caleb Love? Forrest is fired up. Take a listen to that bench. And Caleb Love will shut the pitch right up. See how Wade handles the pressure. This has been problematic for them. Didn't handle it well there. Bacon hammers it home. And the North Carolina lead is back to 10. 60 seconds. Look at this right here. A hustle, effort, and an unselfish play. Leading by 10. And Carolina fans have no nails left to bite. So they need a comfortable one down the stretch. That'll help. Again, breaking the press and hammering it home. Guess who? Love finds Harris, and he connects. Alonzo L was talking about Armando Baycott's performance so far, thus far in the first half. And of course, Fonz is always cheering on the bigs as De'Ron Sharp. Seeing Kevin Keats have to go get both of his big guys in the game as they share the basketball well, but Armando Baycott coming up with a huge block. Under three minutes remaining. Step back three for Love as an air ball, but there to clean it. Can shoot the basketball as well as Justin Champagne can. You do not give him opportunities in the traditional North Carolina break. Brown there for the tip. Could not get it to go. Over the top and the slam. North Carolina running that break. And there's Sharp on cue. Baycott will swing that one up there with both hands. Play though, there's a lot of physical play here in this first half. Stepping inside, no travel. There's only find any separation against the Panthers as Pitt's gone to the zone defensively. Way downtown and all net by Walton. Isn't isn't he a fascinating player? Because he's the best rebounder he's ever coached. And that's saying a lot when you consider the numbers that you talked about, Leaky Black getting out on the break and finishing it. Carolina and sneak back to single digits. And they do. They run sharp. And yet another Duke turnover. And Caleb Love slams it down and draws a foul. <laughs> He needs to touch the ball. That's some tough love right there. He touched the ball by going to get it right now. Comes up with a steal. Good pass. Wide open play check. Off to Armando Bacon. Carolina great early. Led most of the way. Duke on a run to take the lead. Bacon almost traveled. Finds love in the corner. And the heels are back on top. And no matter how many times your coach runs it back, you don't get him blocked out on any of them. Another Duke turnover. Harris. Baycock. See the ball go in from short range, too. What, what was, I don't know what that pass was. It never got close. And it's a dunk at the other end for Baycock. Defense by Garrison Brooks. Johnson's supposed to be the quicker player, but Brooks wouldn't let him get past. Wow. What a catch. Love. Wow, a tough one. He wanted the foul call. Didn't get that, but he gets the bucket, and the heels are back on top. Extra pass to Love. Yes, what a night for Caleb Love. Roach. Down with a rebound is Love. Back will put on the brakes. Free throw line extended. Knocked down by Baycott. Second big we've seen make that same exact shot. Three-time CAA Freshman of the Week, and that one is Dang Toe. That looks like a shot I think you hit one time over in Durham. Freshman, that it was a bit of a surprise that Roy was able to get him to come to North Carolina. Nice. Duke, he played really well, and you see sporadic moments from different freshmen. Kerwin has definitely played well as he just gets a three-pointer and one.
Yeah, and a lot of people uh, think that guarding that three ball is, especially when you play UNC, you're going to draw the bigs out and kind of get that, you know, bigs have to guard the perimeter, and that's where the mismatch is. <laughs> Not if you had played, they wouldn't have, right? <laughs> Another shot clock violation by the Tar Heels. They take possession. They're oop to Brooks. Yeah. So again, I'm for the orange. I just don't do it in front of you. <laughs> Back and forth they go after the Williamson layup. There is two more on the slam by Dayron Sharp. So oftentimes you're in the wrong position on the floor. Charlie Jones, no. Dre Davis couldn't get the rebound. Carolina with it. Lock, lock to the rim. Kessler finishes the alley-oop. And Carolina cash in on the turnover. Indeed they can career points. Of course, the first three in Radford University, and then this year averaging over 17 per game, and another chance off of just not look like the ranked team that we saw in November and December. And really, you know, who are we to judge? We don't know what's going on. But with the schedule they have coming up, I hope that's not who they are, because if so, it's going to cost them some games. You have to be able to finish plays off at the free throw line when you get those opportunities, especially when you attack the basket. And of course, I love my alma mater. I mean, it's who wouldn't love being a reigning national champion? I mean, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> you love that once. <laughs> Good. And some noise as the Tar Heels are back to within six. Walton feeds Kessler, who draws a crowd, and steps around and throws it down. But still, with two weeks, two weeks remaining, a lot of basketball left to be played in ACC. Walton, nothing but net. They led in the first half by as many as 16 points. And another takeaway on the run to the bucket. Layup missed, Baycock hustling and fighting for two more. And all the great players that North Carolina has had wearing this uniform with the Argyle up and down the side. I'm not sure they've ever had a seven further that can go off the dribble to the rim. Was, but I'm not sure if Caleb got any basketball on that one. It would be interesting to see that. Be, oh, wait a minute. Now three opportunities for North Carolina on this possession. And if you get this many chances, you're going to score the basketball. I mean, you can shoot 33% and still win the game. And North Carolina shot 39%, won the game. Sorry, Richmond, because he did not drop back down into position. But turnover. Really it's a sloppy turnover by the freshman Richmond and the dunk by Leaky Black. Another long rebound comes back to Carolina. Davis, a deep three. Oh, what a bounce! Double there on Sharp. Aaron pass to Bacon. He has it blocked. Gets it back and finishes. And Matthew Hurt with the foul on a reach in. You know, North Carolina's offense is really what has let it down this year. De North Carolina's defense has been pretty good. It's been top 25 in most of the metrics. Wide open. Caleb Love being guarded by Matthew Hurt. Let him touch the ball. Step back jumper and he knocks it down with a shot clock running down. Two of the youngest teams in the country. Black with a cut and a feed, and Baycott with a finish. How they've shot the ball against Duke, and then the games in between. A low jumper for Love, who's having a nice first half. The kick to Brooks. Put him another that shot. A quick three from Jamin Brady. And now they don't find Walton in trick. Kessler slams it home. Taking care of the ball and delivered inside. And this is a well-constructed game. Turnover. And what a block. Leaky Black from behind. A number of coaches have told Scott Drew that they felt like, and that's not like everybody's got a ton of experience with it, they, they felt like it took a few games. Another great cut by Dayron Sharp. But, uh, it, it applies in this one. Duke was never in this game. North Carolina took him out of it from the very beginning. It's not an insurmountable deficit with a ton of time left, and Kessler with another block. Armando Bacon with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now. Nice turnaround by Sharp. Hey, you're, you're... Sharp pass, my goodness. And Baycott just with enough strength to rip right through the foul and lay it in. Another block for Kessler. That's at least five right now for Walker Kessler. Carolina's on a 24, make it a 
to two run. Onward and upward they hope. What an inbound for Cordell Pencil, a grad transfer from Iowa. Wide open look on the wing. R.J. Davis for three. Got a little bit cold at the offensive end recently in Carolina. Now with a chance to tie or take the lead. Love. And he's got it. Got a couple of teammates action. Battling for the loose ball. Black for three. Being physical right back. Brooks. Kessler. And one. With a four-point lead and a steal, Davis has a big guy with him. Oh, never mind. Just let him go to work. Again, being coached by the ACC Coach of the Year this year, Mike Young. Big to big, and we have really seen the bigs of Carolina. He was not really noticeable that often in the first half. He's been huge here in the second half. Deep one, Davis. Yes. We're at 7.7 rebounds. Allison talked about getting the ball inside. Oh. They go right to it. And for the Seminoles, Walton, his second three. Three. Davis trying to shake Wilkes. 15 to shoot. Baycock, strong. Oh. On the drive. They don't have Koprovitsa or Engam, the seven-footers out there. Sharp running the floor hard. And it's a four-point. The handoff. You got to switch. Get a big guy on him. Koprovica can move his feet. How about that?